All right, today we were reviewing the Clear Flow Clear Water Pond Kit. This is the 1400 US gallon, 5,000 liter kit. This is the green pond that we are going to be trying to clear up with this kit. This kit's got mechanical, biological, and UV filtration. Okay, inside the big box, you've got the pump and the filter. And this is essentially what you're looking at once you're done. You've got the pump. You're going to hook it in with a hose. You're going to hook it right up to the inlet on your filter system. That up on the side of the pond and the hose running into the filter at the bottom of the pond. And we are about to fire it up. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is after one day of running the filter. Um, I know it's probably hard to tell in the video here, but um, the water is definitely more clear. Um, I can see a good foot down to the roots of some of my plants in there, which I definitely could not see yesterday. It's been running for less than 24 hours now. Um, I have noticed though on the pump that uh, the red indicator that it is time to clean out the pump um, is indicating, which doesn't surprise me with the amount of stuff it's pulled out of the water. So uh, we're going to go and demonstrate real quick how to do a cleaning. So you notice here on the top of the pump, we've got the inlet here, the outlet here, and then this right here is where you're going to attach the hose for the cleaning. This piece right here is the dial. You're going to dial that back and forth, point it this way, it's sending the water out. If you rotate it this way, it's going to send the wastewater out that end. This little red indicator is what's indicating that the pond pump is dirty and needs to be cleaned. Now you notice on these, they have kind of a unique coupling system. It's got these couplers on the end and they're very easy to use and it makes things very convenient. Right now I've got a cap on it, but all you do is depress this yellow piece right there and rotate off. You'll see a little bit of wastewater coming out right there. Now you're gonna attach your other one with a hose attached. Now with the wastewater hose attached, you can run the thing all the way back over to a planter bed. The idea here is that you can use the waste created by your pond to plant or to fertilize and uh, water your plants. So from here, the only thing you have to do is rotate this dial and it'll channel your wastewater up into your planter bed. You can see it running out right up there. Now to truly clean your filters, you do need to actually run the plungers that are on top of the filter. Um, and I'll show you those. Those plungers are these guys right down here. So you're gonna pull them and you're gonna pull them up and you're gonna run them down on either side of the pump. And this is that wastewater that's coming out of my filter. You can see what that looks like. It's definitely stuff that had been uh, keeping my water pretty darn green. Okay, here's the water after uh, basically five days of work on this filter. And uh, you can see all the way down into the root balls of the plants now, you can see through the reflection. So it has cleared up the water uh, significantly. I could see down probably two feet into the pond easily. Um, so things are looking good. And then to give you an idea of the clarity of the water compared to what we were starting with, Here's, uh, here's what we're looking at now. It's, uh, it's pretty clear, maybe just a little bit of haze left. This is after running the filter for one week. You can clearly see all the way to the bottom. The deep end of my pond is about three and a half feet down. So we've got a solid three and a half feet of visibility. I can also say the water is as clear as it's ever been in here.